It's that time of year. Just picked up the frozen pork from the farm. We get a pig each year. This pig had a hanging weight of 226 and it all comes packaged frozen. I'm going to open it up, put it in the basket, and we'll take it inside for storage in the freezers. Bell is here to assist. One of my favorite parts is the back fat. This whole thing is back fat. I know, but that's some nice future lard right there. We'll be having pork chops for dinner tonight. So I pulled out the pork chops. Here's everything. I got two chickens while I was at the farm too because they also do chickens. So that's two baskets. And that lasts us a year. We actually you almost all of it killed you. <laughs> okay, we're gonna carry these inside. Same routine every year. Now down to the scary basement. Basket number two. We're gonna have to come up with a conveyor when we're 70. In the scary basement, I showed this before, but I don't need to show it again. This is going in the freezer. Here's the starting point. I, I have four pieces of pork left over from the last one. I'm gonna pull those forward. Those are big beef bones up there, which I use for broth. We're gonna fill this baby up. I'm gonna show you the the pork fat here. This is the back fat. These are the you can see that's the skin and the inside the back fat. The this is called the leaf lard. This has the kidney in here, and that's supposed to have less of a pork flavor. It, it doesn't really matter. I always just use it for frying and whatnot. So I had to break these apart. All these pieces so that they will, I can pull them individually. I'm gonna use those two, I'm gonna make some lard, put this in the freezer. So, I can... so this is all the pork, smaller cuts on the door, the ground pork on the door, pork chops, uh, pork shoulder, the bigger pieces in the middle, spare ribs, roasts and such, and hams. The top shelf are the pieces left over from last year, saving space for the beef, which is half a cow, which comes probably in about three weeks. And we have a chest freezer. We have a chest freezer over here, which is off for the season, because when, once we emptied it a couple months ago, we turned it off, and that's where all of the ground beef and larger bones will go. And that's the scary basement tour. What I love about those, the freezer packs is I'll just take these two pork chops, put them in warm water, and they will be defrosted in time for dinner. The wood stove is on, so I'm going to get some back fat started. Look at this neat little trick. It's got a pedal here. Hit the pedal, and the door opens. Then I can put this right in and start letting that melt and render in the wood stove up. Our first pork chop dinner from our pork that we picked up. So we've got beautiful pork chops, Brussels sprouts, and oven roasted cauliflower. This is the rendered lard. There's still a little bit more fat in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these pieces off, drain it out because you can see the pan is pretty full, and I'll put it back in the oven and see how much more comes out. There is the liquid gold right there. That will solidify and I will be using that for all kinds of things. No seed or vegetable oils in my kitchen. I only cook with real fats. Olive oil, ghee, butter, tallow, and lard. That's all we have here. So what I did is I took the the skins, the back fat. I scraped off all of the fat off of the skins. I will crisp these up even further and the dog will, will like those as little treats. She loves those. So those go in the oven separate. These are 
the fat, the remaining fat that was on the skin. So I scraped that off, put it back in this pan, put this pan back in the wood stove oven. We'll continue to render for more liquid. There's still some meaty pieces in there and you'll see. Belle, do you love it? Not too much, a little bit every now and then. This is the last of the pork lard back fat. Those were the fatty pieces. This is the, the actual skin. This just shows you how crunchy it is. It's kind of hard to do this one-handed. We just do the scissors and it cuts right up. And then I just leave this little bin in the freezer and then I dish this out for doggy treats. That one's too big. Here's a little one. Here's my customer. 